Hi all, quick video. I wanted to make this video for anyone that wanted arcane style textures in their 3D environment. Before we go into it, a small disclaimer. I don't claim that this to be the correct way to do it, or even the best, it's just the way that works for me. If you want an exact copy, you'll probably need to learn rotoscoping and learning how to paint. Anyway, this is how I get the textures for what I need, that is close enough. I am using Substance Painter for this, so you will need it, or you could probably do this in Photoshop or other texture based software, but it'll probably be a bit more time consuming. Enough blabbering, let's get it. So first I am baking down my high res model into my low res. And then I start with basic colors. So for this wagon, I set a darkish base color and then start working from there in layers. I prefer to do this way just to keep track of what I'm doing so you know which layers go where and how you build up. Uh, so after a good base color, I usually take a dark color from the base paint and paint in the shadows. Hard painting them in and I am using this artistic brush, specifically the watercolor brush. I paint where I think all the shadows should go. Imagine if you're painting a, an actual painting, you need to sort of have an idea of where the shadows will go from your light source. I then add in color variations um, that will just break up and just scatter it about just to give it a bit more variation. I then add midtones if needed and finally highlights, a much lighter color that would be at the highest point of the model or if there was a rim light. So sort of think about that in the painting. Once that is done, I will do the next material and follow the same process. In the video, it's wood and then metal. Uh, something else I do is add edgeware to the model, which you can see in the window model, and then paint in or out extra details. Uh, I don't really use normal mass for these models, but if I was doing something a bit bigger or something that required more detail, I would obviously do that from a high res model and bake that down and then paint it. A big tip is that the longer you spend refining your base painting, the better the end result will be. So have a really good base and then you use the filter I'm about to explain. And that filter is the stylization filter. So let me explain. After you finish your base painting for all the layers and materials, put all of those into one master folder. Then select the master folder, select add filter, scroll down to stylization and select it. You will see your painting change a bit, but from there we can go through the options and see what's best for you. For me, what works is selecting the gradient from the preset list. Uh, and here are the two things that I fiddle with to get a more stylized painted look. I change the filter on the gradient so I get a nice gradient from top to bottom. I then change the brush strokes from anywhere between 0.3 and 0.5, just depending on how much. I might go even lower or even more, but I find that this is a good base. This will give the extra streaks and hand painted texture that Arcane has. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it works for me. If you want more accurate look for textures like Futish does for Arcane, let me know in the comment section and I will do best to replicate it for you. Um, we can go through examples, pull up screenshots and see how we can replicate it in 3D. Otherwise, I thank you for sticking around and never stop creating.